So in the previous video, we covered some basic bounding box and time range queries. In this video, we'll demonstrate queries four and five. Again, using the Jupyter Notebook and using GeoSpotDB on this discovery. As I mentioned before in the previous video, for more detailed setup instructions, please refer to the GeoSpotDB documentation. Query number four is a variation of what we've just seen with query number three, although this time we are interested in uh, device IDs. So say, for example, we are interested in just a number of unique things that are items or devices that are in a particular bounding box and a particular time range, we can do it as follows. So for us, as we're using the ERP data set, we're going to look at the unique vehicle IDs that are within the bounding box and the time range. So to do that, you need to use select distinct on the column or the ID column. So in this case, it's vehicle ID from geospot.default SG ERP2 synthesis, where the timestamp is between the same range and then we have a bounding box again. And we'll run the query. And there you go, there's a re the return output, a much shorter query duration. I think primarily just the fact that we're looking for just distinct device IDs and that filters down a lot of the rows. So moving on to our final query, and this one is around uh, percentage breakdown within a bounding box and time range. So again, we're using the same filters as before. However, this time, this is a little bit more of a complex query where we're trying to calculate a percentage of uh, vehicle breakdown type break, vehicle types in uh, the ERP data sets. So in order to do this, we need to have a nest set of nested queries. So to start off with, our first nested query is, is defined as follows. With windowed ERP as select star, so we're selecting all columns from the data set. And this is where there's also a little differentiation when it comes to the bounding box. We've decided to change this up from just being a uh, rectangle to being an actual polygon. Now this polygon could be of any shape or any sort of shape. It's basically trying to uh, a use case for where if you want to say, look into a particular region of a city or country or whatever, depending on what your data set is. And this way it allows you to see how many points are within a polygon. And to do that, you need to use ST within, ST points of the longitude and latitude co columns of your data set, and then use ST geometry from text and then provide the polygon uh, structure. So in order to get something like this, you can go to, there's multiple different websites where you can draw out a polygon on a map, and then you can export the polygon and get the actual shape and the latitude and longitude associated with that. So an, an example of this is shown here, and each point is each point of pair is not separated by a comma, but then each point itself is separated by a comma. So here, you've got the longitude and latitude of a point here, and then the next one here, and that continues for the rest of that uh, polygon. So that's the bounding box filter, and then you have the timestamp, and this, in this case, we are looking at a 10 minute window between the, in the 5th of January, between 10 to 11 and 11 a.m. And yeah, that does the initial filtering process of getting all the points within the bounding box and time range. We then want to query that result of that of, of this nested query. And we, we want to now select the vehicle types, which is what we we're interested in looking, the, the, looking at with the percentage breakdowns. We're then going to get the count of the vehicle types, and we're going to group by vehicle types so we ensure that, that every uh, row value for vehicle type is unique. And we get the sum of all the instances where there was a vehicle type of, say, a car, a bike, a high, heavy goods vehicle. And then from that, we then can calculate the percentage. So we then again select vehicle types, uh, the vehicle type count just as the original count, and then we do 100 times the vehicle type count over the sum of the total vehicle type counts across all the uh, the rows. So if we run this, this will then run the query, and we will get a result. And there you go, this is an example output. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of, we've got six vehicle types, some of the vehicle counts for each of said vehicle type, and then the percentage of that uh, within the bounding box and the time range. Thank you very much for watching this video.